Hi everyone, welcome back. So today in this video, I am going to discuss about what is negative testing in software testing. So in my previous video, I have discussed about the positive testing. So uh, if you guys have remembered, so what I uh, told that for the positive testing that we have to do some positive data. So when we are testing anything, we have to do some, we have to check with some positive test data. That is positive testing. It's a very simple term. Now, today in this topic, I am going to discuss about what is negative testing. Okay. So negative testing means we can assure that is a simple term. So we have to do some testing with some negative way. So how negative way or what is that negative way? Negative way means whenever we are testing any applications. So whenever we are testing that, we have to do some, we have to test with some negative set of values. Means just giving you one very basic example. Let's say this is one field. Okay, so this is one field and this field, let's say accepts only, uh, this field accept only, let's say 0 to 0 to 10. Only 0 to 10 digit, this field can accept. Okay, so now whenever we are trying to do the negative testing on that text field, then we have to do, we have to put some negative set, set of data. Means we will put, let's say, uh, 101, 10 zero one, one zero or A01. Means we are putting some value where both alphanumeric characters are present but what my expectation or what my requirement says my requirement says is that this text field only accept numeric value and only accept 0 to 10 so minus 0 or 11 so these fields are not acceptable so after 10 or before 0 those values are not acceptable only numeric value can accept and the value should be 0 to 10. So if we put A01, that is this field is not acceptable. It's a negative test case. So whenever we are testing that, we have to check that, that this text field can accept alphanumeric number or not, or more than 10. So if we put, let's say, if we put uh, 11, so what my requirement says? Requirement says that, yes, 11 is a numeric, but my requirement says that the value should be 0 in between 0 to 10. So either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, only these values can acceptable for the text field. So apart from that, anything, if we put, that is a negative testing. Means if we put, let's say some character, at the rate 2, is that acceptable? No, because 2 is the uh, in between um, 0 to 10, but there is some value, so there is some character that is at the rate. So that, that's why it's not acceptable. So these all are the negative testing. So now you guys are clear that what I am trying to say. What is, what is that negative testing? Okay, so whenever, so what negative testing says? So negative testing is a software testing type which is used to check the software application for unexpected input data and conditions. Okay, whenever we are trying to testing something with some negative test, negative set of test data, then that testing we can say as a negative testing. So we are perform for unexpected condition or we can say that not as per the requirement. Maybe not as per the requirement. So my requirement says something. My requirement says that 2 plus 2 equals to 4. But whenever we are testing, we are not checking that 2 plus 2 equals to 4. We are checking some another thing that is not as per the requirement. So negative testing means it's a software testing type that is used to check the check the software applications for unexpected input data and conditions. So, 
in later you will be very much clear about that just uh, follow me okay now what is the main purpose of negative testing the main purpose of negative testing is to prevent the software application from crashing due to negative inputs and improve the quality and stability so before in my before video previous video one one single term i always use that is test coverage 100% test coverage so if you guys remember that so you can just connect with this so 100% test coverage means what i have told you in previous that both take positive test case and negative test case both are present if my test case are 100% test coverage that means we can say that our application's quality is good there is a good quality in my application and the we can as per the application we can say it's a very much stable okay so the main purpose of negative testing is to that prevent the software application from crashing due to negative inputs and improve the quality and stability so the if we testing anything with some customer or client requirement that is positive testing but apart from that customer requirement whenever we are testing that means we are testing some negative way so if we cover all the test coverage if we cover both positive and negative test cases or if we covered maximum negative test cases then we can say that my application is 100% my application quality is good and very much stable okay so this is the main purpose of negative testing okay and by by just doing positive testing we can only make sure our system is working in normal conditions that what i am already say that by positive testing we can only make sure that our system is working in normal conditions or we can say our system is system is working with some customer requirement that is fine but we have to make sure that our system can handle unexpected condition to ensure a 100% defect free product so for that we will go for negative testing where we can use some negative set of data some negative set of conditions to make sure that our application is stable our application is good quality product okay so this is the negative testing now i am giving you one very basic example so uh, we all know the functionality of a lift so whenever we are going to office or any uh, apartment or any flat so maximum office there is some lift okay so you all know that lift okay so let's say this will be considered as the requirement of a lift like pressing the floor number make the lift go to that particular floor so that is my requirement what is my requirement requirements is that pressing the floor number make the lift go to the particular floor so whenever we are pressing any number my lift will go to that particular floor floor so if we clicking on the four four then my lift will stop in the fourth floor that is my requirement so first that door opens automatically once the lift reaches the specified floor and so on right now let consider some negative scenario for that so that is my conditions that is my requirement now if i check that lift functionality so what will be my negative scenario first let's say what happens if the number of persons exceed the specified limit so there is some limit if you if you have already uh, used the lift so you can say that suppose there is some some weight some some weight they have mentioned on the lift that maximum uh, 1000 kilo or 1000 kg like so 1000 or 1000 kg weight can maximum so so if so we have to check that if the number of persons or weight exceed the specified limit so so let's say um, uh, the maximum um, limit is 1000 kg okay now if 10 percent has uh, i mean uh, opened i mean 10 percent of people are on the lift 
and whenever the 10 percent people are on the lift there is some some uh, some mark is showing that some text is showing on the lift i mean lift so you can see that it is exceed the limit so that's why i am telling you that if the number of persons or weight exceed the specified limit then what will happen so this is the negative case so we all know so if the weight is under 1000 kilogram then obviously lift will go to the next floor or next floor i mean lift will start but if my or if the total weight exceed then what will happen is the lift will uh, lift will run or lift will stop so we have to check that that is the negative scenario or we can say that what happens if someone smoke someone smoke on that lift then what will happen is the fire alarm will uh, uh, turn on so we have to check that if someone is smoking on the lift so i think uh, in general nobody uh, smoking i mean smoke on that uh, lift okay but if there is some negative cases that if we smoke or if someone smoke a fire inside the lift or fire alarm a fire alarm will uh, run or fire alarm will i mean call so we have to check that now what happens if there is a power failure during the operation so whenever let's say i am going to ground floor to 10th floor and in between five floor so in the five floor uh, five floor so some uh, power has been gone okay then what will happen the lift will still running or lift will stop or we can call some lift maker i mean lift operator like that so what will happen so we have to check that so this is the negative scenario i'm just trying to just connect with some negative scenario in real time so this is a negative scenario okay or i can say you one more example let's say this is my application this is my one applications this is my one applications and in that application let's say there is some uh, this is the username this is the password and this is the login button let's say i'm naming it like this is the this is the username this is the password and let's say this is the login button so now my scenario is that so what is the negative scenario for that uh, i mean for that particular application so whenever a user is putting some valid username and putting some invalid password and clicking on the login button then a page will appear let's say one page will appear one home page will appear so one home page will appear that is fine no problem that means when the home page will appear when user is uh, putting some valid username and in and valid password so both username and password is valid and we have to click we are clicking on the login button then home page is appearing so that is some positive test cases so what is the negative test case of that so if a user put some invalid username and valid password and clicking on the login button then no home page will appear instead of that some required message should be shown here that your username what username you have uh, uh, typing here that is wrong like wrong username that means invalid username valid password valid username invalid password both username and password are invalid and clicking on the login button so these are the negative scenario we all know so we all know that if we if we put some correct username and correct password and clicking on the login button then one home page will appear that is positive cases so if we only test that that scenario so we all know that that is working perfectly fine but let's say so in worst case when the applications has deployed on the live or production where anybody can access that and a user put some wrong username and correct password or correct password correct username wrong password or both username and password they filled wrong and clicking on the login button and suddenly he uh, he see, he's seeing that the page is redirecting to the home page so that means it's some weird 
right so that shouldn't happen so this is the negative scenario so that's why i told you that in negative scenario negative scenario or negative testing testing makes sure that there is some quality of product we have quality product and the application is stable an application is 100 percent bug free right so these are the example of negative testing so where we are putting some negative set of conditions or negative test data okay for testing any application that is the negative testing so now you guys are very much clear about what is negative testing now let's say next point is that why do negative testing so there is two purpose one is from the organization perspective and second one is that client perspective now what do you mean by organization organization perspective so any suppose one comp one customer one customer work or one client so they have requested our company to make a software so what will my company's goal so my company's goal will be whenever whenever we are hand over that application to the customer or to the client that application should be 100 percent defect free defect free and there is some quality on that product so so it makes sense that we we are not get, we will not receive or we will not get any type of customer complaint that yeah your uh, developer or your tester has uh, doing doing uh, has nothing so like that or developer or tester like that so the companies or the organization perspective is that we have to make sure the applications is 100 percent defect free so for that purpose how we can assure our application is 100 percent defect free so whenever we are testing any applications obviously we have to write some test cases and then we have to i mean we have to or our test tester or our test engineer should write some 100 percent test coverage means both positive and negative test case and maximum positive and negative test cases are present on that application so if my applications cover maximum positive and negative test cases that means we can see or assure that customer or client that yes our application is 100 percent bug free there is some good quality and our application is more stable so you can easily handle that handle that and i'm sure that you are not you will not give us any complaint about that application so we can assure the client so that is our main organization goal so each and every companies or each and every organization the first goal is that customer is happy or not we have to make the, our customer happy right that is the first point and second point is that client perspective so client will do negative testing because they are they they will sure they will assure that that which application they are i mean they are going to live so that application is working perfectly fine or not means client always expect zero vulnerability products so in order to ensure that negative testing is the must okay so if it is sensitive product like e-commerce or, or online stock etc then security and negative testing is a must obviously e-commerce product, product or i mean any online booking product there is some negative testing should be present because there uh, there is one important thing is that payment gateway so always there is when uh, i mean wherever some money is coming so that area we have to do some negative test cases or negative scenario negative testing like right so the only concern to the client regarding the negative testing is that the cost but once the impact is analyzed it is up to the client to decide whether to do or not negative testing right so why you do negative testing two things are there one is from the organization perspective and second one is the client perspective now coming to the next now you are you are uh, clear about that why you will go for negative testing now next point is that how to do negative testing how to do negative testing so okay so how to do negative testing so let's say 
uh, uh, just I'm giving you one example. So let's say if we see an email field think I mean we, we are testing one email field. So we are thinking about all the we have to think about all the possible inputs we can put there other than correct email format. So we all know that if we clicking on the correct mail that will log in. No problem that will log in. But we have to I mean think about all the possible inputs rather than I mean expect uh, I mean accept that uh, correct mail format. So some way I mean same way uh, when we see an image upload option we have to test it with all possible files. Suppose uh, we all know that whenever we are upload any image or any any documents. So suppose we have downloaded one image and that image extension is .png. So we have to check .png also and as well as .jpg, .jpg, okay, like that. So every image format extension we have to check. That is the negative testing. Whenever we are uploading any documents, then we have to check PDF. Okay, so every dot PDF, dot text, so everything, every documents, I mean extension, we have to check that that is working perfectly fine or not. So, how to do negative testing means first, obviously, we have to do positive testing. So, when one uh, requirement is come to our end or one uh, when the application or when the build is coming to our I mean our testing hand or testing team that as a tester our first goal is that the client or customer requirement is working perfectly fine or not that is positive testing then whenever that is done then we will go for the negative testing and with the negative testing how we will do we will do some process we, would, we have to maintain some process we have to think about more logic so if the positive test is one so we have to make sure that we have to test within some negative test test case 5. So 1 is to 5 we have to mention that because positive test developer has already tested positive test cases or positive testing developer has already tested by their unit testing or by their white box testing they have already tested but our main aim is that anyhow we have to break the software if any soft any test engineer is breaking the software that means there is some issue that means our product quality will be good. Right. So, you are clear. Now, coming to the next point is that advantage of negative testing. So, first point we can say that as we all know, negative testing is very important to ensure the quality of product. We all know that. So, a good quality product is a zero vulnerability. So, as also we know that if there is no issue, no error, that means we can say that there is we can assure that our product is zero vulnerability product okay so to ensure that negative so to ensure that negative testing is the very much important okay now second point is that so doing negative testing make sure that all possible cases are covered Obviously, by negative testing, we can make sure that all the possible test cases are covered. Intentionally or unintentionally, there is a chance of negative test case to occur. So, to make sure that all cases are covered, we have to do negative testing along with the positive testing. So, if we follow the positive testing, then negative testing, that means we are covering the 100% test coverage. and for doing that, we can assure that our all possible test cases are covered and our product is a good quality product. Our product is a stable product. Our product is a 100% defect fee product. Okay. So, negative testing will make more confidence to the client before going to live. So, if if I tell my client that suppose there is, a, there is one functionality and if I tell my client that I have tested with some 50 negative test cases for that particular functionality. That means client will be more happy. Yes, we can and we, we are more confident that we can uh, go to, I mean, we can put that uh, application to the live easily. Okay. So, also the negative testing 
make sure the customer happy or client happy okay so these are the advantages of negative testing now what are the disadvantages of negative testing so in software testing negative testing in some cases becomes a waste of time and energy okay so well not all cases but some cases that is it will some waste of time and energy because if suppose there is only one just easy flow so easy functionality is there so there is no need to test any negative testing but intentionally forcefully if we go for negative testing that means we are wasting our energy and we are wasting our time so sometime some cases negative testing becomes a waste of time and energy in many cases there is no need for excessive negative testing okay for example let's say if an application is created for a single person so application is created for a single person use then we don't have to consider that the case that 100 user use the system at a time so that is totally waste of time because my requirement is saying that the application is only for single person use so deciding condition in negative test cases are very important there will be times where we don't have to do negative testing on a particular system if my requirement says that we the application is for only one user but if we forcefully uh, testing with some 100 user or 1000 user okay or 5000 user that means we are wasting our time we are wasting our energy so no need of no need for that okay and second one is that require skilled and experienced people to create negative test cases obviously so if we if any 6 months or 1 year experienced tester can do the negative testing so he cannot cover all the negative test cases so experienced person or professional person professional tester can do the negative testing okay so to the client negative testing is another thing that causes unnecessary delay in release and cost adder so for the client purpose perspective we can say that if we do the negative testing that means some time will be needed for the negative testing purpose and not a some time much time will be needed compared with the positive testing because one positive testing there should be five negative testing so time will be needed more right so to the client negative testing is another thing that causes unnecessary delay in release and cost adder and a chance that a team spends more time and energy on negative testing so there is a chance that testers spend a lot of time and energy in negative testing that results in lower concentration in positive testing so if we as i have already told you that first we have to check positive testing very carefully then we have to go for the negative testing but if a tester first go for negative testing and then there is no time for the uh, i mean in our hand in our hand there is no time so we have to uh, deploy that uh, applications uh, or we have to hand over that application to the customers and we don't cover the positive test case all the positive test case test cases that means that is totally waste that is not a good thing or good idea so obviously first we will do the positive testing very i mean very details so whenever we are done with all the positive testing then we will go for the negative testing okay so these are all the advantages and disadvantages of the negative testing now if i if i just repeat all the negative testing in a single sentence we can say that what is negative testing so performed for unexpected condition or not as per the requirement that is called negative testing and in that negative testing we can say 100% test coverage is possible 100% test coverage coverage is possible possible and negative testing ensure that defect free software just i already mentioned you that negative testing ensure that defect free software and we can say that uh, who will do the negative testing any experienced tester any professional can do the negative testing okay and if we do the negative testing it will take more time and by the negative testing we can ensure a good quality product and we will do negative testing with some invalid set of values so that is all about negative testing so i think guys you are very much clear about what is negative testing and why this is important in our software testing
so if you guys have any doubt please comment me if you guys like my video one thumbs up and subscribe to my channel edupet and clicking on the bell icon so you guys will get my videos after notification first or if you guys share with your friends for their knowledge so you can obviously you can share that so see you in the next video with some interesting topic of software testing thank you